If you flash back in time to the earlier days in the NHL, sure, guys smoking and drinking in the dressing room and sometimes even between shifts would be normal. But if that were happening in today's game, there's no way anyone would be able to keep up with Connor McDavid while after just smoking a cigarette. Just as the game has evolved, so have the players and maintaining a healthy lifestyle goes hand in hand with having a long successful career. With that being said, everyone's different and has their own routine that works for them. And believe me, there are some people in this video that are on extreme opposite sides of the spectrum. So keeping that in mind, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at what NHL players actually eat. Alexander Ovechkin Everything about Ovechkin is absolutely compelling, from his scoring ability this late into his career, to his hilarious off-ice moments like hitting a hole-in-one or binge drinking after winning the Stanley Cup, this man is straight up fascinating. And when it comes to his pre-game meals, the grade 8 does not disappoint. While most players have been opting to keep their eating habits light nowadays, Ovechkin does the exact opposite. Teammate Bruce Orbrick called his captain's diet borderline inspiring and went on to say Ovi always orders the same thing Mama Lucia which is this pasta dish that has chicken parm with noodles bread cheese the kind of thing you want to take a five hour nap after eating he makes a big display of it too there's no shame it'll be 11 in the morning way before anyone is really thinking about eating lunch and Ovi will walk into the dining area yelling Mama Lucia Mama Lucia I don't know it's weird but it seems normal now I mean would you just take a look at this meal my god I have heartburn just looking at it and yet Ovechkin has it before every single game and still manages to be the best player on the ice. It makes zero sense to me. Zdeno Chara. Now this one might be the most surprising on the list. For the duration of his career, Chara was always the biggest player in the league. Coming in at 6'9", weighing a mean 250 pounds, you'd think he'd be doing the liver king diet with the way he trains. But that couldn't be more wrong. Chara was actually eating a mostly vegan diet. The Bruins legend actually cut out beef, chicken, pork, and dairy. Only rarely does he indulge in fish and eggs, and now his diet mostly consists of rice, oats, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. It's impressive to think about how someone his size could function so well off such a light diet and contrasts the stereotype of what we all think athletes are. Protein crushing, egg drinking Rocky Balboa types. Chara absolutely loved the plant-based diet and says it actually made him feel stronger than before he made the switch. He went on to say, I felt as you get older, you're trying to find ways to improve your well-being, functioning, and energy level. Everything you hear that people are losing as you get older, I want to be a step ahead of that. Wayne Gretzky so Ovechkin is in hot pursuit of Gretzky's scoring record and has a ridiculous pre-game meal. So it only makes sense that the Great One himself also has one of his own. Hockey has evolved a lot since the Great One played and nutrition has become a way bigger part of the game. However, that doesn't change the fact that Gretzky is one of the greatest that's ever done it and his pre-game meal has to be one of the best I've ever heard of. His diet violated every rule of sports nutrition, yet it still made a strange amount of sense. Before every game, it's widely documented that Wayne Gretzky would put away four hot dogs piled with mustard and onions. I play best on four hot dogs with mustard and onions. People ask me what's my secret on ice? Bad breath, Gretzky told People Magazine. Now Gretzky also has a between periods hydration regimen and while modern day hockey players opt for water or electrolyte heavy drinks, he would drink a Diet Coke, a glass of ice water and a Gatorade in that specific order. Gretzky was a big believer in routine and starting in his school days, he would make a point of having something he could both get and eat quickly to prevent hunger during night games. As for the Diet Coke, he says that it gave him the same sort of stimulation as an energy drink. Honestly, if I could crush four hot dogs and a Diet Coke, I'm probably puking or stuck in the bathroom. No way in hell am I making it out for puck drop. Mitch Marner. Marner gained some attention during the 2019 postseason as the Leafs took on the Boston Bruins. He had a two goal performance in game one and played so well that he drew comparisons to Wayne Gretzky from the opposing coach. Then the NHL released a behind the scenes video of his pre-game preparation which included something only a child would do when their parents let them get ice cream after dinner. Marner was seen stirring chocolate syrup into his vanilla ice cream until it took on the consistency of soup. That's always something I know as a kid, I just always stirred it up like that, Marner said. I always thought it tasted better. That's something I just continue to do my whole life and people think it's crazy, but it's pretty fun. 
Jacob Chikrin. Hockey fans were shocked and quite frankly a little disgusted after learning details about Ottawa Senators defenseman Jacob Chikrin's extreme diet which includes things like eating raw liver and raw beef heart. The guys think I'm crazy, my family thinks I'm crazy, my girlfriend thinks I'm crazy, Chikrin said. It's a lot of protein and I'm not really eating carbs on game days. I'll eat some sweet potatoes, some white rice, fruit, but all my dairy stuff I try to get raw. I'm really big into that. It's like an ancestral way of living. And I'm also eating raw liver, raw beef heart, doing all this crazy stuff. The taste is awful, but your body almost craves it when you eat it consistently because it's just so nutrient dense. Uh, sure, if you say so, Jacob. I feel bad for whichever teammate has to sit across from him while he finishes up his raw beef heart. Connor Bedard now here's one who is on the extremely healthy side. Obviously Bedard is projected to go first overall in the NHL 2023 draft and he's proving to be very dedicated to his craft. So dedicated that even his eating habits are on an elite level. Bedard's insanely strict diet was revealed in an interview ahead of the upcoming 2023 NHL draft. His mother Melanie Bedard spoke with NHL.com about her son's path to being potentially the next great hockey superstar. Melanie surprisingly revealed revealed that Bedard has never eaten fast food before. Bedard's diet is made up of healthy meats and vegetables. Here's what she said about the diet. He's never had fast food. He will at some point, but he hasn't eaten McDonald's or anything yet. On game days, he'll eat chicken, rice, vegetables, shrimp, mashed yams, salmon. It's kind of a rotation. Okay, so sure, this kid is potentially going to be the best hockey player we'll ever see. But he doesn't even know what a Big Mac tastes like. The guy doesn't even know what Whopper Wednesday is. And honestly, I feel bad for him. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button.